Joe, so how was the curry? <laughs> Curries are always good from there. Um, now, nah, look, just to address that one, we got beat, obviously. I was annoyed, all the boys were frustrated, so yeah, I wasn't going to smile, I wasn't happy with the result. Um, but the curry was great, so <laughs> thank you to them for that. Um, but yeah, just to address that one short, short and sharp. We were just saying, Joe, it, is that it was for us the perfect picture because it showed that we're doing the bit for the partnership, we have to do that. But actually, more important to you is the fact that the game didn't go our way. Yeah, look, the disappointment was throughout the whole squad after that game. Um, obviously, once we got that goal, I think we probably could have gone on to get three points, but if not, definitely get the point. So, yeah, it was a frustrating night, but um, there's no point dwelling on it now. We've got games coming thick and fast. We need to keep the, like, well, the momentum back from before we had the, the COVID lock and the break and get back into the rhythm of things and, and keep pushing on to hopefully achieve something good this season. It was a very quiet dressing room, and that's a reflection of the fact we're just not used to losing now, are we? Yeah, exactly. Look, so that's all good things. I think um shows everything. The boys being disappointed means that everyone's dying to win. We're, we're, we're putting everything out there. Everyone's working as hard as they can. Maybe we didn't play the best we'd played last uh, on Tuesday night, and we know that ourselves. But again, it's just about getting back into the rhythm, back into the flow, and, and gaining that momentum again to keep it going. But yeah, the disappointment that was shown is obviously good signs that we're all desperate to get these wins and, and do something good for this club and the fans and, and Cumbria really. After that unbelievable January is it a bit of rustiness? Does it does it feel like you've still got to get back into your stride at the moment? Well I think for some lads I think different people feel different ways like I feel alright to be honest but I think um, there probably is a few lads look they've had some, some players have had the Covid and look no one can really say how much that does affect you but you've got some players that probably are a little bit affected maybe not running as hard maybe do feel a little bit more tired and fatigue and we probably made more mistakes in the last game than we have all season so like maybe the decision making and just things like that again we just need to get back into the flow and the rhythm of things and I think look we'll be fine we just just need to concentrate on getting back to how we were before that break the gaffer said it we could see it. I'm sure you could feel it out there we do feel right on the edge of, of being that team that we were that was going on such a good run. Yeah, exactly. Look, the, they scored a penalty and they scored a free kick. Uh, every respect to them for winning the game, fair enough. But there was nothing in free play. We we got a nice goal. We got we got back to the one-all position. I think we could have could have gone on and won the game. So yeah, we as you said, we're right on the edge of it, and I think things will change quickly as long as everyone prepares right for the games and uh, trains hard and for the next one hopefully the lads will feel fresh and ready to go. You spoke very openly Joe back in the summer about how frustrating the career had been up to now what's it like to be part of something like this at the moment? Yeah look I can't emphasise enough how much I'm enjoying it here now uh, I've got a good relationship with the gaffer the lads are brilliant to work with everyone gives everything and as I said, everyone's just desperate to go and really do something this year. So, yeah, for me, coming back from an ACL injury last year and to now be playing in centre midfield, I'm enjoying it. And I'm learning a lot from the other players around. We've got some good senior players here that have had lots of experience. And and even the young lads of, well, not young, my age, Callum Guy, people like that, to play around in, that mid, in the midfield with, you learn a lot from them. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it an awful lot. When the gaffer asked you to step up and you were given the start and into the team, you took it with both hands, didn't you? Yeah, well, as I said in my first interview at the club, I owe the gaffer a lot and David for bringing me in after being injured for so long last year. Um, so, yeah, I was more than ready. I was so excited to get here and start playing football again. So as soon as I got the chance, especially stepping into midfield, I've, I've loved it. I really enjoyed it. You have played there before at different times, but not like this. How have you taken to that role? Yeah, I've played there as a youth player growing up and stuff, so... It's all good and well playing as an academy level, but stepping up into first team football, more physical, and I think a lot of people, maybe not being the tallest player out there, but I'm not too small, um, probably thought the physical side I might lack slightly, and maybe the gaffer did as well to, to begin with. I've probably got more of like the technical attributes, but he's drilled that into me now, and I feel like I'm really battling out there now to leave my mark on players and fight a little bit more in the midfield and I'm enjoying doing that and especially with players like John Mellish and Carl who love to put tackles in, win headers, it's good to see how they're doing it and try and bring some of what, some of what they've got into my game. And you do feed off each other don't you because that press that we're seeing in every single game even when it's not going our way it's always there. Yeah I think that's what teams surely are looking out for now the the speed in which we press and we do things the gaffer's always drilling onto us about that everything's got to be quick so the teams aren't quite ready and even if we're not playing our best football if we go out and like, give everything and we're quick to, to defend and quick to press, teams don't know what's happening and they end up giving us the ball anyway. Then it's up to us to make the right decisions in the final third and, and go on and do the right things, which maybe we lacked in the last game, but 
we've not lacked in this season, I don't think. So, yeah, that press is great, and I think the boys have really worked hard on that, and it's showing in the games now. Really bad on me and Amy that we didn't talk to you about your first ever goal, but we are now. What a goal, Joe. Yeah, I was very happy about that, but... Again, it's not something I'm going to keep thinking about. I need to make sure I get the next one. I want to get more goals, more assists. I was happy to get one on Tuesday for the assist for Jimmy and a great finish from him. And I'm happy for his first goal, but I need to get more assists and more goals now. It's good to that I've got more of the defending attributes now from the gaffer, but I need to kick on now and get some more goals. Well, you're not getting away with that. What a finish. It was a beauty. <laughs> yeah, look, I was very happy. Came with the left foot. First first league goal of the week foot. It's not too bad, and I was happy. Um, yeah, the family was all happy, and it was a proud moment for me. Something like Tuesday night, is that as good as a goal? When you've done what you... I mean, you've got to win the ball, then it's like, OK, what do I do next? Everything goes right, Jimmy puts it away. Yeah, no, to be honest, I actually said this to my family. I think it probably is. I'm, as, again, I'm very happy for Jimmy, but, yeah, for me personally, when once that ball's gone over the line, it doesn't matter for me whether I've scored it or not. Like, if I've been a part of it and the team's scored, I'm, I'm thrilled. And the, the thought, the thinking after that, we could probably get back in this game. We can we can maybe win this game. It was a great feeling and I was just happy to be involved in, in that setup. Everybody talks about mental health these days, Joe. How good do you feel in yourself now? You've been through the, the mill yeah. with your, your injuries. How, how does it feel right now to be doing what you're doing? Yeah, do you know what? The, people are speaking about that now, which is great. Good awareness for it. And I probably have been through... a a very tough period I have um, probably not spoke out about it enough compared to what everyone is doing nowadays which is good but um, yeah I feel fantastic so I've come through that and it just shows now that the best thing to do is to speak out but adversity to come over th overcome things that have been hard in my life and now to come back and play in it thanks to the gaffer giving me the chance I feel fantastic and I'm enjoying my football probably the most I have done in my career so far now. I won't ask you about the targets, the team and personal targets, because I know you're all saying the same thing. It's each game as it comes now. Yeah, and I think that's the best way to look at it. People can set targets, people can set personal goals. Some people might see that as a bit of a barrier, really, in their own head. I, I just want to take every game as I can, take it to my stride, take the good things from games and move forward and, and learn and, and keep progressing in the right way, and hopefully the boys will keep doing that. And I think the next game, we'll all be ready for it. We'll train hard this week. It's unfortunate for Saturday that that's called off, but... I'm sure the gaffer's got us ready for training hard this week and on the weekend and Tuesday we'll all be ready to go. Just finally, Joe, you've said it there, but it's worth repeating. Whatever happens this season, the effort, the energy, the, de the desire, that will all be there. Yeah, 100%. That's the biggest thing here. The, the, the group we've got are fantastic. The gaffer and the staff work really hard, so the effort will always be there for every game. Whether we're playing our best football or not, everyone will always put 100% in. So we'd like to think we're not going to settle for anything less than hopefully doing something good this year. So the lads will give everything and we'll, we'll go for it. Absolutely fantastic.